we are about to embark upon a series of strange and exciting, dangerous adventures. Adventures that will lead us to all parts of the world. Hello and welcome to another Bad Comic Review. This time we are looking at Legends of the Dark Knight, issue 24. This is part one of the three-part story flyer, written by Howard Schenken. Art and co-plotter was Gil Kane. Steve Olaf on colors, Willie Schubert letters. Assistant editor, Bill Kaplan. Archie Goodwin, editor. Someone has been killing bats with spikes, and it's kind of making Batman a little suspicious that somebody's trying to send him a message. Well, he goes out on patrol and kind of gets lost in thought about how much he likes being Batman, breaks up several crimes, and then is suddenly attacked by a flying man wearing an armored suit. Uh, he's shooting spikes at Batman, leading Bruce to think that this is the guy he's looking for. Despite getting some injuries, Batman is able to take him down, and he drags him back to the Batcave for some reason. But at this point, Batman's only been on the job about 18 months. So he's still really green, and isn't exactly the sm smartest on tactics at this point. After administering some truth serum and some hypnosis, he's able to get some information out of this guy, and it turns out his name is Curtis Eisenman, and he's a German immigrant from West Germany, and his mother is some sort of scientist who is a very staunch believer in a certain German philosophy from the 40s, and while she abandoned her son early in life, he did go on to join the Air Force and then the Gotham City Police Department. Well, after a failed attempt to capture the bat, Batman, some bats made his helicopter crash and it really maimed him and his mother took notice of that and thought he would be a good experiment so she puts him in an armored suit called Marauder 1. There is a second Marauder suit but he's not worthy of that until he takes out the Batman and we are left with a pretty disturbing cliffhanger ending that means Batman might be in some serious trouble. All in all the story is really good. The cover is great. Very dynamic, action packed. It does relate to what's going on in the book even though Batman doesn't get injured in the chest. He gets a different injury. The interior art is fantastic. It's Gil Kane. He's a great Batman artist. So I really like this book. I thought it was a lot of fun. It's a quick read too. Even though there's a lot of dialogue and caption boxes, it's very fast paced and I was really surprised by how good this was. I figured this would be a weaker story than the ones we'd read so far, but shockingly it's pretty solid. So if you get a chance to pick it up, I'd recommend it. Everything comes together very well. Good story, good art, great cover. What more could you ask for? That's that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future reviews. If you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, links are in the description to various support methods. And as always, we hope to see you on the next one.